The sport of hockey and family go hand in hand. The game is certainly on the rise in popularity, especially here in the desert, and that is in large part thanks to you, the hockey parent. Whether it's the early mornings at the rink or the pick-me-up heart-to-heart after a tough loss, being a hockey mom or dad is no easy task. Our very own Gary Lawless has had the privilege of watching his daughter grow up in the game he's covered nearly his entire life. Here is the Lawless's hockey story in his own words. Mom, Dad, I want to play hockey. Those were words to the same effect. Kick off a family's hockey odyssey. The start of a son or daughter becoming a hockey player and a parent transforming into a hockey mom or dad. Along the way, there are goals and wins. Travel to new places. There are also tough games. Time on the bench, expensive equipment, tears, and sore feet. Like any endeavor of value, it isn't easy. But my oh my, is it rewarding. Standing along the glass with the parents of teammates and encouraging one another's children cheering when their kid scores, getting a pat on the back when your own makes a good play. Early morning hotel lobby coffee on a tournament weekend, a late night glass of wine and a solo cup going over the day's games and looking at tomorrow's schedule. While the team on the ice forms over the season, so too do friendships in the stands. Our little girl has grown and changed on her hockey journey. From a gangly kid who couldn't skate to a near teen volunteering at night to help newcomers to the sport learn the basics. She's made friends, learned about competition, and how to be a teammate. Good job, Callie. Thank you, You're welcome. She leads the league in being the last one out of the dressing room. She loves being on a team. You ready? Fire it up, fire it up. Parents and kids make mistakes, measuring ice time rather than fun, talking instead of listening. But every team runs its own course, and so does every hockey family. No formula is one size fits all. Watching a child succeed is gratifying, but there's value in failure too. The struggle is part of the journey and the growth. Hockey has brought lessons to our family. There's been planning and budgeting and organizing around the kitchen table. We consoled each other after a playoff loss. We celebrated a first goal together and a tournament win too. My daughter scored a goal on Friday night and I got to see her celebrate and uh, boy oh boy, it's really fun. Hockey has meant a lot in our house, a career and a way of life. But now we're seeing it through a child's eyes. It's a game again, our kids game. What could be better? Time for our first break here on Nightlife. Coming up next, we sit down with Jonathan Marcheseau to talk about being a hockey dad while also playing the sport he loves. Keep it locked right here on Nightlife. Welcome back to this special episode of Nightlife about hockey and family. I came a, a long way uh, to be here and uh, pretty happy and uh, about, about it. Obviously, happy as a father to give that experience to my kids that uh, I know they'll be able to uh, cherish for the rest of their life. Kale Lacar. Oh, I think he's going to be good. Let's see how the finish is. That was close, 13 8. Uh, he's one of the best defensemen in the league. Just uh, seeing them uh, having fun and, uh, and just playing with a few guys there, the best players in the world. And uh, it was uh, something that as a father I'll cherish for the rest of my life. And uh, I'm, I have a lot of recognition towards uh, that uh, moment. Jonathan Marcheseau's hockey story goes beyond the Vegas Golden Knights, but he certainly has come into his own in the desert. Marchie is known for his timely goals on the ice, but something you may not know about number 81 is that he also balances being a dad to four youngsters off the ice. Our very own Darren Millard caught up with Jonathan to talk about being a dad first. Pop quiz for you. Names, ages, and levels of the boys. I got James, uh, he is eight years old, almost nine. He plays with the 10U team. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I got my William that is four and he plays with uh, the house league here. Uh, and I got my Henry that is three and just starts skating. And was there any debate about whether or not they were going to play hockey? Well, I think it just started a little bit with my young one. He always wanted, he, instead of having like a blanket going to bed, he always bring like a mini stick. So that was his thing to comfort him. And he always been playing. And after the two other ones, when they become more around three and a half, four years old, they jump in and they just they always play at the house now. So. Did any of them want to be a goalie? I tried to limit that. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, they, they always, they like everybody, they want to, try it you know uh, they never want to do it necessarily on the ice but they like to play it at the, in the backyard what's it like being a hockey dad it's fun honestly it's easy for me too like uh, to share the same passion kind of like uh, so it's I've, I've done it growing up it's been honestly really fun to be part of it and uh, that's definitely what I'm looking forward in the future is being there for my kids uh, in their passion you've seen all levels of hockey dads and dads that are passionate and dads that are on the periphery. What kind of dad are you? I think a little bit of both. I, I, I'm just preparing then, just not for hockey, but for life too. I think life is, is hard and it's a grind and you got to work for everything you want to achieve. And I want them to, to work hard. I don't necessarily need them, want them to like score six goals a game or something like that. I just want them to work hard every time they're out there. And when it's time to have fun and uh, like mess around, they can do that in the backyard, but when we jump on the ice, I want them to, to achieve something and get better at it. And obviously all that uh, while having fun. So uh, I'm just uh, trying to bring that to them for sure. Do you get a chance to get on the ice with them? Yeah, often, every week I would say that I'm, when I'm here. Uh, but I mean, every time uh, Tuesdays we're normally out here and uh, I like to get out there, especially if my oldest son is team uh, I like to get out there because I think the hockey in Vegas gets better every year and every year and uh, I want our organization to be uh, uh, looking good uh, year, uh, year after year and I think it's going in the right direction and uh, uh, we've done a lot of uh, improvement in the past few years but we got to keep going. What's your favorite drill for the boys to do? Every kid is different. Like my oldest is like uh, has really good skills. Uh, my youngest is a good skater naturally at four years old. He bends his knees so easily. So I just want them to work on their strength, but work on their weaknesses too, and try to get a little bit of everything uh, uh, while they do it. But I think one of the good things uh, that I want them to work on at an early age, it's uh, the ability to pass. Uh, that's not something that you see a lot uh, with the kids growing up now. And it's something that if you have it, you have it. If you don't, it's a little harder to get later. So. Uh, that's one thing that I kind of emphasis on. Where do you have the line between exposing them to all this coolness of being a national hockey leaguer and then just being a normal kid playing hockey? Is it hard? No, not necessarily. I think, but I, I mean, I, I worked hard to put myself in that situation that I can show the kids my passion and like have them like special treatment to come in the locker room on practice days and stuff like that. And I think it's pretty cool that uh, the organization let us do that too, right? So it's uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy that I'm able to show them that you know like the 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 passion that I have to at 32 years old come at the rink and want to get better and have fun and uh, I think it's uh, it's fun to, that I'm able to pass that pass that along. What kind of coach are you when you stand behind the bench the other time? The similar as a dad. I mean I'm like uh, I want them to have fun, you know. I want them to to enjoy the game, but the most important, I think, it's to to work hard. I mean, I don't want them, I, I don't like lazy plays or lazy effort level and stuff like that, and that's, I don't give any special treatment to my son. I would say I would pro I'm probably harder on him than all the, on the, all the other guys, but I mean, I just want them to, to work hard and skate and uh, play the game fast because the game is so fast now, so uh, just trying to prepare them to that.